Hello. In this video, I am going to be discussing about Maven or uh, specifically why you need uh, Maven with your uh, Java projects. So in order to understand that, let's try to build a project without, uh, without using Maven. So my use case is, I am uh, creating a class which makes use of SLF4J to log some information but uh, I'm not using Maven to resolve those uh, dependencies of my class on, uh, on SLF4J. So my class, it uh, works like this. It has a main function, it has, uh, it has a logger and uh, it's, uh, it's just a standard SLF4J code. I'm using logger factory to get the logger and then uh, I'm uh, using the logger object to log uh, some information. So in order to do this, what I'm gonna need to do is, first I need to compile this code. So it's Java C hyphen CP. It stands for class path. And uh, what I need to do is, I need to have uh, these jars SLF4J API and uh, SLF4J simple in uh, in my class path in order to uh, compile uh, compile uh, my class. So this is how I do this. I use uh, hyphen CP to define what all jars I need in my class path and then I uh, write the name of those jars jar files and uh, I also need to have the current directory in uh, in my class path that's why this dot and then I do test dot java so it compiles now again I need to uh, run this uh, this class and uh, I need to have those uh, jar files in my class path so when i do java it gives me the information what i was logging in uh, in here so i'm uh, i'm using command prompt in order to uh, resolve these dependencies and uh, and adding those jars into into my class path but what if i have uh, 50 dependencies what if my project depends on uh, 50 different jar files in order to in order to run so every time when I add a new dependency I need to download a new jar file from the internet and uh, I need to add that jar file into into my class path so that is very cumbersome one easier way of doing this can be using your ID to uh, add those jar files into into the class path so let me just show you how you can do that I'm just going to start my ID and uh, I'll just add these jar files into into my class path so I'll open this project I'll go to the folder and uh, and here I need to do some uh, some setup first thing that uh, that I need to do is I need to uh, set up my JDK so I'll just set it up mm. my JDK is set up the second thing that I need to do is I need to add those jar files in uh, in my class path I'll just go to dependencies and I can add yeah, jars from here so I can add these two jars from here and these jar files are added in my project so now what I can do is I can uh, I can simply run this class from uh, from my ID so I'll mark this as sources root this is all this dependency this marks it as as the root for uh, all the Java files gives me output path I need to give it I 
install projects my project and the output path is this the output path is uh, where your id keeps uh, all the dot class files that it generates that was the error now if i run this i can see my log here so how the id is doing this is uh, it's adding uh, all those uh, jar files in uh, in the class path automatically on the back end but it's not doing anything else apart from this so even though i can use my id in order to uh, resolve those different jar files but my original problem it's still not solved what if i need to update the dependency for uh, for this java file what if i need to use a new version of this uh, slfoj api what if i need to add a new jar file every time i want to add a new jar file into into my project i need to add those jar files into my build path and then i'm able to run this uh, in this project and the main problem with this approach is that uh, typically when we are, uh, we are in a development environment it's a team effort we we have multiple uh, teams working on uh, on the same project so we cannot be adding those jar files manually what if uh, somebody adds uh, some code which makes uh, use of uh, some jar file or somebody updates the code which needs uh, everybody to update version on their jar files so it'll be very cumbersome for handling all those dependencies in uh, in such environment what we need is we need some framework where we just define that my project is making use of this jar file and my project is making use of this version of the jar file so maven specifically does that it gives you uh, a pom xml where you just declare that uh, you are making use of this jar file and this is the version of the jar file that you are using using a version control system everybody can uh, can share that same pom file if i am updating that pom file and uh, if i am adding a new jar file or if i am updating a version of some specific jar file because it's it's there in the pom xml so that update it will be available for everybody who gets that latest pom file so let me just show you one uh, one thing which we can do with uh, maven so maven archetype generate and uh, it's starting in interactive mode it'll just take some time so i'm using this archetype maven archetype quick start i'll be going through initial setup for uh, for a new maven project Maven has uh, created this new folder for me. I'll just go here. I'll uh, copy this Java file. I'll go to src main java com this and uh, I'll just update the package on, uh, on this file. So I have updated the package here. I'll uh, I'll open this pom XML. I'll update the dependencies for uh, for this project. Let me just copy those. SLF4J176. The same version for SLF for just simple as well. So what I need to do now is I need to go to this Maven dependency tree. It might take some time. what it shows that my project uh, this is my project it depends on uh, slf4j and uh, slf4j itself depends on slf4j simple 
so this shows me that the, my project depends on some jar file and the, that jar file it depends on some other jar file in order to work so maven solves all these uh, dependencies for me so suppose if this jar file sl 4 j simple it depends on uh, some other jar files then maven will download those jar files for me and uh, i don't have to worry about uh, uh, having those dependencies in my class path because uh, because maven will uh, already add them into into my class path so that is what maven do and uh, that is why you need to you know to have maven in, uh, in your java project you can use some other frameworks like uh, for example gradle or if you are using node then uh, you can use npm to to resolve your dependencies but the important thing is that you you don't need to manually uh, handle your dependencies yourself you can have some framework which makes use of uh, some standard configurations and uh, which resolves the dependencies for you and that is why you need to use uh, such framework at the end of the day it just uh, makes your life a bit easier if you still have any questions please leave a comment and uh, thanks for watching